Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what using the VHT does that I really like. So, like paint, you notice that the water beads up <clears throat> and it protects the metal underneath. You can see right there, the metal itself is totally fine. In other words, the sheet metal below the VHT is completely fine. The water beads up, the water comes off like it would paint. <clears throat> and you still have that old look, which is really neat. <laughs> I like a lot. Uh, the green weenie will be going to my brother Drew, and if he chooses to keep it this way, then it's up to him. I I think it's pretty cool. It's neat. It's going to be a unique truck. Still going to patch these guys in. Um, and, oh, I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> so, the air vent at the top, right here we have two of them. This one's chrome. And then we had another one that was just steel. Um, bare steel and I tried to get it to rust it actually took a long time to get it to Get a little bit of surface rust to use the VHT you need a little bit of surface rust on it uh, to get a, to get that look and I didn't want it to look silver <laughs> and then you have the rest of The pattern or or the texture of the car looking this way. So this is what it ended up doing I <clears throat> I brushed it I brushed it with steel wool and then I scuffed it and let it sit out and let it sit out. Got a little bit of surface rust and over the whole thing. And then I shot it with VHT the other day when it was sunny and left it out all last night. <clears throat> the bottom part is coated with the Duplicolor bed liner. And now the top here is going to match just like the rest of the truck. So I'll shoot it once everything dries out and it's not a foggy day like it is today then i'll shoot it with a couple more coats make sure i seal everything in and it'll match and look really good with everything else so just thought i'd show you guys that little update on the progress on the green weenie